The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials up uh, 42. You get the Nasdaq up 33. S&Ps are trading up 8.5. We have the gold contract up $5.30 at 12.14 an ounce. Silver is uh, flat at $16.65 an ounce. Platinum is up 11.60 at 9.34. We have the oil market up a buck 11 at $46.80. Notes, the 10-year note up three ticks, 125.21. 30-year bond up 10 ticks, 153.15. King dollar, king dollar down uh, 378 ticks, 100.910. The euro is at 106, and the yen is trading at 110.88. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. Hit that banner. You can bring it up. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can follow along with us uh, as we trade these defined option contracts. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good morning. Good Monday morning. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Monday morning. Good. It's Thanksgiving week. It's a beautiful thing. It's good to be home. Vegas was fun, right? But we're we're I'll, back in always, the saddle again. It's always, always nice to be home, for sure. There's, there's no doubt, man. There's no doubt. And I want to thank all the tigers and tigresses that visited us out there. And uh, for the new tigers and tigresses, we're going to get a few new people in that trading uh, in that tiger's den. Maybe they're already in there. It's a beautiful That's thing. That's right. Definitely. So, um, dollar. The dollar out here, Tom, is going to be intriguing here to see uh, if, in fact, this baby can hold uh, this level. You know? Yeah. It's been quite a move, right? It, mm -hmm. it has. It's a huge move. And, and if we yeah. check this out, folks, okay? So... This is going to get really wild because there's a lot of markets that, you know, they took off topside last week. Well, dollar took up topside, bonds took off downtown. Um, and when you take a look at this, this is a very large potential ABC structure on the way up. You know, uh, it had been in a consolidation since January of 2013. It overtook. Now, I have a continuous contract up, okay? So it's, it's still the same number. It, it, it doesn't always have to be the same number on a continuous contract. In this case, it is, though. It's 100.600. Uh, we got over it last week, and, you know, you got over it with some strength. Now, this morning, th that being said, what is happening this morning is that it's trying to get back inside it uh, on the way down. Uh, and that's going to be intriguing in itself uh, because of the fact that that will absolutely affect the metals market. We'll see whether it affects the broader market. Um, sure. You know, but there's, there's, a, there's a couple sellers in, in this contract, and it looks to me like it's going to actually make a run for it today, which is going to be pretty wild. Because if you fail within, you know, one day, it's like, okay, you know, yeah. that, that, that could be a, a failure, you know. So um, gold, um, you know, is up, but it, it's really, it's not up with some big strength. You know, what we have here is that, you know, you're, you're up $5.70, Gold's going to have to have a wider price spread than that. Uh, that. Now, that being said, if we take a look at some of these equities, these equities look to me like they actually bought them last week, you know. So okay. um, this is where this is going to get intriguing because you get uh, yeah. Barrick is at 15.53. Once it got back inside 15.39, that came into uh, the higher range. Newmont is at 33.06. Now, that's got to get inside 33.29. Okay. Okay, now, now let's go over to the NDX100, because the NDX100 out here this morning, folks, um, had a quick uh, move topside. Uh, what it did is that it was testing the open on the 18th, which is 48.40. Now, right now, we're, over, we're at 48.43. That number is going to be a big number to keep your eye on, uh, because if it can't stay over that number... Um, this thing can come right back inside pretty quickly, you know. Um, and if we go take a look at some of these spreads out here uh, inside the Nadex platform, what you're going to see 
is that, uh, let me get, put this one. So if you take a look at the U.S. tech, the, there's an 80 point spread out here that uh, 4870, no, 4780 to 4860. Now that's trading right, right in about the middle. So, well, no, it's trading 20 points down. Hold on, I'm pulling it up right as you speak as okay, well. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so you're looking at the 4780 to 4860, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, so that's that's really close to the top of the range, right? Oh, so yeah, top, that's, that's nice. The top of the range is 4860. Right. It's at 4843. So you're 17 points away from the top. Right. In an 80 point spread, right? Yes. So. And I'm just pulling up the market. And so, you know, even though the market's at 48.43, that's not bad because no, you're, you're going to be able to sell it at 48.41.2. So you're paying about 2.3. No, 3. Oh, now, well, it's jumping as we speak. Now it's jumped to point 48.44. You're paying like almost $3 in premium, three points in premium. Right. That's a, that's a, that's a, nice, that's a nice deal, though. That's... No, it is because if you're selling it at 48.42, you're risking 180 to make 620. Right. Early that would that would have been uh, NQZ six. If you're looking for a big move, that's not bad in terms of risk reward, right? No, it's not, man. Particularly this forty eight forty is a big number. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are up thirty-nine, the Nasdaq's up thirty-three, S and P's are up eight and a half. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow up uh, 36, Nasdaq's up 29, S&Ps are up uh, 7 and a half. And um, let's go take a look inside that NDX because the, so the, you, you had the charge higher uh, at the open inside the NDX. Uh, the leader out there is uh, Monster Beverage, that's up 3.4%. Um, Insight, uh, Corp, which is INCY, is up 3%. You get Netflix up 2.5, and Facebook is up 2. Uh, taken away from it, you have uh, Henry Schein down 4.8. Qualcomm is off 1.2. You got uh, Cognizant Technology off 1.1. And uh, Electronics Arts is down 1%. NQZ6. So this... This 4240 is the, like, the line on the sand here. It's going to be wild watching this thing, man. Yeah, I mean, it. it the index dropped um, almost five points, right, since we were looking at it. Now it's bouncing around a little, but yeah. So the, let me bring this up here. Yeah, so that's interesting. So from the first time that we brought it up to right now, you, you can you, see the expansion of, you, go ahead, I'm sorry. I, no, no. I was just going to say that you're only paying 150 in premium about now, 160, right? Um, yeah. So well, that, I, and that, actually, that, I think the first time we brought it up was like 167. Your maximum right. loss. Now it's 212. Yeah. So the thing and just is, to put it though, you know, part of that 167 was like three points in premium, versus now it's only like a point and a half though because you have more value in there. Okay. Cool. I got it. Okay, right. And that's, that's where these uh, spreads that you want to wrap your head around as to, you know, how, number one, what, you, what you're paying in premium. And inside the NDX 100, folks, like a point two three of premium is nothing. That's, I mean, these things blink and they'll go up that much. There's no two ways about that, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, let's go take a look at the IWM. One of the targets want to look at the IWM. Uh, now, this one, uh, you know, he shot versus the... TZA, I think this is pretty dangerous, you know. I mean, I think you might have a short-term top up out here right now, but in general, the IWM, yeah, can it pull back to a buck 30, 26? Yeah, it can. But this was quite a break top side. So the way that uh, you already have it on today, you know, you're, you you'd be all right. But uh, what you want to see is you want to see this thing fail, which looks looks like it wants to fail today. Then come down on volume and then retest that high again. Because look at look at that. I mean that that break last week when we were in Vegas, Tom. He's a big break. Yeah. You know. But so the mon the mantra there, folks, is that the um, the small caps will continue to accelerate because the theoretical fundamental deal would be that um, stocks that are small inside the United States will make more money than the S&Ps that are outside the United States. I, I, so, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, so jumping back, if we could, to the U.S. Tech 100, the yeah. NASDAQ, um, yes. ADEX, I was just jumping around it. Oh, good. You know, there's some other cool options if you wanted to go short and you were looking for a big move, right? Okay. So you were looking at the 80-point spread, which yep. has a ceiling at 4860. Um, there's the 40-point spreads, right? And so there's a 40-point spread with the ceiling right where, where we're at, at 48.40. So if you pull up 4,800, yeah, you're only risking like $73, yeah, $72 to make 328. Now, keeping in mind, though, right, that $72 is all premium, right. you know. Um, and if you want to go one step further, though, then there's the 40-point spread, 20 points below that. So if you were actually looking for an 80-point move – down to 47.80, there's there's a bunch of... Um, <laughs> well, here, I'll show you. I took that. I, I took the lower one. <laughs> okay, good, good. I took... Okay, so this is pretty sick, folks, but this is... my. Anyway, my, my take on this is that 
the burst high. I took the low one. Yeah, I was just. I mean, you and know, you, it's it's you a, could, it's a big risk. I mean, I risked. I think I risked two forty, but for for how many contracts is that? Ten. Okay. Um, so it was. That would make sense. Yeah, it's twenty four dollars a contract, right? No, it'd be two dollars and. Yes. Uh Yes, twenty four dollars per contract. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you know the other side of it, if I get it, <laughs> uh, it'll get kind of interesting here. <laughs> sure. And it's only sixty points um, down, and to say only, you know, right. we'll see how this week shakes out, especially with Thanksgiving. But there's been some volatility, to say the least. Right. Well, where I'm going with this, so picture where I'm going with this, folks. Okay. What this is about. So the risk versus the reward was it's approximately two hundred forty dollars for about thirty four hundred. Okay. Well, it'd be four thousand if they all expired. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. where my head is at, see this dollar, I think this dollar is going to fail. And I'm still having a tough time trying to figure out, you know, last week the dollar goes up. The market normally can't stand a high, a high dollar, right? And then kind of like what happened is that, well, the market kept going up. So I said, okay, man, what the heck's going on? And I, don't, I really don't know yet, but it looks to me like the dollar is failing. So if the dollar is failing and simultaneously the, uh, the bond market looks like it wants to go higher, that's telling me, man, that you know, the S&P and the NASDAQ are going to get croaked. Okay. Um, you know, we'll find out, but you know what I mean? Sure. That was my reasoning this morning. I said to myself, you know what, I'll take a shot of 240 bucks for, you know, a couple grand. Yeah. Um, you know, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, you know, what, what, I do, what I do like is that when I, when I just, you know, got here, I like the idea that we don't have any big monsters up here in the leaderboard in the NDX 100. Meaning, okay. you know, it's not an Apple, it's not a Google, it's not, you know, one of these big equities that can just take the NDX a lot higher, you sure. know. Um, and in fact, if you, you know, I, did you, see that, you saw that article I sent you last night um, about Foxconn, right? Yes. So, yeah. so there's, a, there's a great article, folks, if you want to pull this, if you pull, um, pull Google, pull Foxconn, and what, it, what it's about is that... Um, yeah, if, if they just Google Foxconn Bloomberg, yeah. it comes up. Yeah, and so what happens is that the uh, in China, they don't have to report too much, but what they do have to report is uh, the amount of uh, revenue they're taking in. And what this article is about is that their last revenue in Foxconn um, went down, and the last time that that happened, what did it say, 2015, when the last, when the last iPhone had just come out, the iPhone 5? And that next quarter, uh, right? 2012. 2012, okay. So what the article was basically... Which it was. It was following the launch of the iPhone 5 was the last time that they had the, the slump. Yeah, so, you know, what the article was insinuating that, you know, that is very possible that they're not selling as many iPhones because, well, 50% of Foxconn's business is Apple. So they're saying, okay, they're basically saying that, hey, this might be uh, saying that this is slowing down. So I, I like that aspect, too. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, they, you know, they have a chart, and so people can Google it, Foxconn and Bloomberg, just because it's a Bloomberg article, and it'll come up with Apple. And um, so, yeah, it was 2012, and I think Apple at that time peaked at 100. Okay. And then in between 2013 and 2014, Apple shares came down 45%, down to about below $60. Um, before then, going from mid 2013 to mid 2015, all the way up to 130. So, but it did come down 45 percent after that. Wow! You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We get the uh, Dow right now uh, up 33, Nasdaq up 21, S&P is up six. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, uh, Dow up 23, NASDAQ is up 17, S&Ps are up 5.5, we have gold up 6.10, silver's up a uh, penny, and uh, we got quite a move here, Tom. <laughs> I know, believe me, I was thinking about you during that break. I mean, you've come back all the way to where we were within the 9.35 minute bar. Um, you know, I, we're, we're now above there, but... That spike right there, the 1025 bar, went all the way down to um, 4823. And, and as that happened, uh, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. What can happen here, and this is what I would do, you know, it, it came up to almost that I could just sell one contract and get my money back and keep nine on. So that's pretty intense. And that's what I will do, folks. Um, looking at here, I'll show you which, I, what I suspect would happen here is this. So... Just can we oh, go, go back over that for a second? Yeah. Because I think I think I don't think you had made enough to sell one no, to I, cover. No, 10. I need I need two hundred and eighty dollars. That's what I need plus commission. Okay. Because I'm 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 in at two seventeen yeah, point you're, two. You're, okay. Hey, I'll, miss, give it, I'll give you the exact number. I, I figured it no, out at the okay, break. Okay, but it's more. It's it's going to have to move more. Your your position's only. Up about sixty percent right now. No, I know that. Well, okay. When this just went down, it was is one hundred sixty four bucks. Oh, I see what you're saying on all. No, no, no. no we, we we should not. You you'd have to make like nine times your money, right, to sell one position and cover ten p trades. That's not even close to that level yet. You're you're you're. It's 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 the confusion of ten contracts. Yeah, right. I got it. One. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so no, I do. You're not at. You know, it'd be great if you just made 10 times your money no, on that movie. Exactly. <laughs> but that's what... Um, yeah, that would be had, if I sell them all. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. If you sell every single one of them. Right. That's what... You're up about 60%. I mean, you got right. in it... You know, the market's going from 48.17 to 48.15. Right. I'm in it at 48.17.24. That's right. what I'm in it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, if so we... So nobody's out there confused saying, I, how exactly, does he get this money I know, back? man. Well, I know. Trade. 
So okay. if, if we look at this, folks, check out what this is. This looks to me like it's going to be a small ABC down now, okay? So okay. You, you got the, you know, you, you get the, the, the leg up right at the open, right? That leg up, as I said at the beginning, was going after 48.40. You failed up there. Now we got a leg down with volume, and now it looks like this one can't handle it. So if it can't handle it, that means your next leg will take it at 48.17, which would be, you know, that would be... Yeah, I mean, either way, when you're paying for a low risk you know high reward trade and you're getting this type of movement that's that's a good indication that you know that's that's a that's good for your trade for sure as in part of the thing you're looking for is just huge moves like you said you're only paying two points in premium and the markets jumped around like 20 points back and forth in the span of like 20 minutes since we started talking right yeah. now let, let's go back to the original the the, the 80 point spread because that's going to be worth some big money right now uh it's still only 10 points oh no no i'm sorry it's 30 points away from the ceiling on that one right Let's yeah see. so now one contract is costing you 316 where I, I forgot what it was when we were in there but i think it was like 167 or something so, yeah i think you're right right at the beginning it was about 167 and now it's up to 316 right which is pretty yeah. cool you know? it is it is for sure you have the same opportunity where you're up you know somewhat similar to yours really just on a lower level per contract Right, and you have in less... In terms of percentage, you know, like you put up 240, you could get out at like 450, 500, whereas that one, you put up 167, you could get out at like 320. Yes, and the difference, folks, just so if you're looking at both of these, the 80-point spread is still the better one. And the reason I'm saying that is that you don't lose all your money. Do you know what I mean, Tom? Like, I, mine, yeah, was, no, my, I mine was, was much richer. I would not use the term better, though, because it's just a completely different trade. You know, there's just yeah. less premium. I mean, if it was the better trade, why didn't you do it? Just to put it, you know, because you have a different trade. That's yeah, what, what I don't want people to get wrapped around, and when you buy them this far out of the money, you better be able to make sure that you really understand what you're trying to get. That's my point. Do you know what I mean? Because sure. that, that thing Definitely. was, yeah, I, I, I'm looking pretty good right now, but that was way out of the money. Do you know what I mean? And it has to do with this dollar, not, just, you know? Just to be, it, it's... It's still way out of the money, you know, to, to yes. tie it together. So that's what, you know, you still lose all your money if it goes until expiration. Right. So for sure. It's just a completely different trade. Right. Yeah. So if we go back to this dollar, you know, the, the pressure here, here it is right here. And it looks like this is, they're going to hit the dollar. It looks like they're going to hit it again. So we're at 100.875 and it's not going to take much to get it into 100.600. And if, the, if we get that, folks, you are going to see some monster volatility like ASAP because that last week was was a valid break topside and you know you get you get a failure on the first day after a valued break it's going to be oh man you got to be kidding me you know let's yeah. let's go to uh, Lou and Nasher hey Lou what's going on hey have a happy thanksgiving you too man eat some Thank good you. turkey and ham stay healthy <laughs> yeah, lots of mashed you got potatoes it. You got it <laughs> Hey, uh, I was uh, about to get into Nugget uh, on Friday. Okay. I think maybe it's too late to jump in anyway. But uh, what do you think? Let's take a look. You get uh, Nugget, folks. Nugget is the uh, Direction Daily Gold Miners three times exchange traded fund. Um, it's the 300% uh, correlation, the bull pos position of the New York ARCA Gold Index. Um, you know, I like the trade. I mean, you could get in right now and just, I mean, these are daily investment vehicles. You can get in right now and put a stop under 890. Give it nothing. You know, that's only yeah. uh, eight, That's only 18 cents, man. Right. Uh, give right. it, go like eight, I don't know, 884 or something. Yeah, right. This, this, this looks like me. This can run right to eight, 984 today. Well, okay. You know, I think there's a, there's a you know, it, it looks that there's going to be a, a sea change here once again today, you know, and it's kind of playing out like right now, you know. So right. if that's the case, no, you know, these things are going to move, man, and they're, they're moving yeah. right now. There's no doubt. What they did, folks, is this. If, you, if we take a look at them here, if I, I'll bring up, first I'll bring up the gold contract. These came back to the April as well as their june signs of strength that's what the, they did vicious downdraft no doubt but guess what it was only a 50 percent downdraft and yeah, if, right. you know 
And on a long-term basis, that's not bad. You know? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, man. Uh, have a thank great, you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You know, Tom, that's where this, um, you know, when you, when you have big runs, right, they're great, like, if you're in it, and we happen to be in that, that gold between January and May, okay? Yes. But it's terrible, folks, when you get a regular point three eight two or five zero retracement, which me, isn't sorry. God bless you, which is a normal retracement in a run. But if you get a big, big run, well, a fifty percent retracement is freaking a monster. <laughs> it is, and that's why you got to take some profits you, eventually, right? And not and not regret it if it happens to go higher, because totally, it's just part of the deal. It is part of the deal, and if you gauge those uh, those retracements, folks, okay. Um, you'll take those profits. You stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 30. NASDAQ's up 18. S&P's up 6.5. We're going to be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 29. You get the NASDAQ up 20. S&Ps are up 6.5. And, and uh, don't forget, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website, at TFNN. You can hit the banner on the top of the side. Bring it up. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And, of course, don't forget, on uh, Wednesdays, 
uh, and Thursdays. Uh, Thursday this week uh, won't happen, but uh, Wednesday we get the oil numbers come out at 1030. Uh, Thursday the gas numbers come out at 1030. And uh, uh, bottom line is that uh, Tommy and I are always trading that out there. And, you know, we met a few other traders uh, at the expo, folks, that trade both sides of that, too. It was pretty cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... They, and when I say both sides of folks, what happens is that there's an expiration at 11 a.m. Um, so if you have volatility, which we've had most times in those, those markets, bottom line is that you can, you can do those spreads. Um, and as long as the spread doesn't close right in the middle, you'll, you'll normally do pretty good. Yeah, and I think, you know, when you're talking about a better trade, it's a higher probability trade, right? And that's in the same way. Like last year, saying you know the for the the eighty point spread is a better trade. It's a higher probability trade, and that's what you like about it. And in the same way, those those double sided oil trades are higher probability trades in that you're not risking your entire <clears throat> excuse me investment that you that you might yes. lose eight out of ten times, right. nine out of ten times, even you know fifteen out of twenty times, fifteen out of sixteen times when really you were risking like two forty to make four thousand. So. If you're going to make, you know, risk one to make 17, be ready to accept a majority of losses, oh, to yeah. say the least, right? Yeah, and no, that's, no, but that's why I, I like those double-sided trades, too, because, you, they're, you know, you're, you're hitting a lot of singles and stuff like that. Yeah, no, and yeah. we're really going to get heads into them now, because I, I, the more that I kept looking at it, I says, you know, and, and what has happened, folks, is that the, well, not, not that it's just happened. We've been in a volatile market, and... Um, the whole world's trying to figure this oil thing out, I think. Do you know what I mean? It's like, sure. you know, what, you, you go from $30 to $100 to 117 then you crash to $30 again. And that, you know sure. what I mean? Sure. No, totally. That's like so. So here, just check this out, right? They're, and they're, they're everywhere on a bunch of different time frames. So if you pull up the U.S. Tech 100 dailies, but okay. go to the ones that don't say daily, that go from 8 a.m. till 4.15, okay? Okay. The 30-point. Now, these are 30-point spreads. Um there's one right now that's a 30-point spread on eight, the NASDAQ 100. 8 to 10, Tommy? Uh, no, no, no. From 8 till 4.15. Okay, so they are it. the dailies, okay, but they're just it. the different dailies. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the market's at 48.35. Yeah. These spreads are 30 points. There are spreads, two of them, that have one with 48.35 with the floor up to 48.65. And then one with 48.35 is the ceiling. And so you're going to be paying about 6.5 points, which would be, I'm just going to pull it up each one. Okay, cool. Six, $65 about out of the $300 pie, right? So you'd be profiting 230 on each side. So you could take one right Look now. Look at that. Yeah, I see On that. each side, you're okay. going to pay about like $130 for the combined. Yeah. And then you need 13 points of movement away from that 48.35 point it's straight out right now. And anywhere away from it, you're making money up to $300. And guess what? On today, right, you yeah. could get a swing in both ways. Look at that. Yeah, right. Whereas you could close one out right. if it's your way and then have essentially a free roll open position to recoup even more value on the other side if, if the market swings. It's a cool trade. They're, right now, with the market moving the way it, it is, is, that's great. That, you know, that, that's really cool because I never really picked up that you could do this inside the indices that's, also. That's like, everywhere. You can do them everywhere, you know, and, and, a, and with the movement that you have going on right now, that's pretty cool in terms of up and down. And there's no reason, you know, if it, if it tanks, that it couldn't make another run positive towards what it did towards the open. No, no, no doubt. No doubt. Amazing. Yeah. And then what you do want to do, folks, if you do get that very quickly, um, what you want to do, which you've seen a few times, sometimes they're getting the money so so good, you could close those positions, and then there's other ones that open later on in the day. Or you just swap out the you know the later ones yeah. in the day. Yeah, and I haven't even jumped around too much. You know, this um, just pulling up if there are, you know, just on a shorter time frame. Um, yeah, it looks like the. 12 o'clock ones don't line up exactly just because there's been too much movement. Maybe the 11 a.m.s. Okay. Um, but that will change when right, they put right. new. No, when no, it, right. when it happens, they'll, they'll throw new ones on, folks, at 11 o'clock. Um, yes. Which will expire at one. Right. 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 Have to love it, man. There I you go. You can have, yeah, I was gonna say you can have them rolling in terms of you know if they happen to correct. Yes. On each hour. Right. Even. Big yeah. time. 
Let's go over and take a look at the Dow and see what's uh, strong inside the Dow uh, versus the weakness. Right now, we have the, uh, the strength um, is Chevron. That's up 1.4%. Uh, Exxon's up 1.4%. Caterpillar's up 1.2%. And Big Blue, IBM, is up 1%. Taken away from it is a 3M's down 1.1%. Disney's off 6 tenths. Home Depot's down 5 tenths. And Cisco is off uh, 5 tenths. Uh, we go back to the... Let's go back to the small cap for a second. Yeah, small cap's failing. So the IWM... Uh, so this is going to be interesting here with the IWM, folks. Okay, so this got below the low, the high of Friday, meaning uh, where, where the NASDAQ hasn't yet. So this is a big number. Once it got below 130.86, that gives it a shot to actually get down to 129.75. And that was really the strongest of all of them last yes, week, right? Yes, big time. Yeah. Big yeah. time. I mean, this thing went. It, it did. It was a rocket ship, man, and it had the the juice as it took out that uh, swing point too. Um, hey, so how about I'm just flying around um, on news as I'm talking to you, and and I keep seeing things popping popping up of 23 inches of snow in the Northeast. Hopefully, everyone's doing. Are you all kidding? Right. No, I'm not. In New York, and uh, <laughs> especially in and even in Boston. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh man, that's crazy. Yeah. I know. So 23. We're getting some cool weather. 23 inches. That's what I saw. 23 inches. inches of snow reported in the northeast. Six more inches to fall in some parts. That's the headline that just popped up somewhere for me. Oh, man. That is... I know. It's not even Thanksgiving, man. I was just going to say, hopefully they get it out of their system before Thanksgiving. Then everyone can travel, right, and, and be safe. But, man, oh, man, welcome to winter for sure. And we, you know, in terms of everything's perspective... But um, the weather was in the 40s in Tampa this morning. I know that. I'm not sure what it's at right now. It's 62 right now, I guess. So it's it's crept up. But yeah, and la the last night we put the heaters out in our backyard, folks. That was I the first. That definitely. was the first night. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. And it's funny. The you know those those heaters do a great job, but if you get away from them, then you realize that hey, it's pretty cold out. It is. And, it and, is. and cold it's for us. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Everything's perspective yeah, for us. Yeah. It's, it is cold for sure. Yeah. Yeah. 60 degrees is cold for us now. We're little wimps, <laughs> folks. No doubt <laughs> about it. 23 inches of I snow. Know. So everyone stays safe driving around up there. Yeah. Oh, look at this. And Dan, Dan has said he's already been plowing. He's already got six inches. Now that's, I, that's what it's, it's a, There's a lot of. I saw friends on social media, Facebook, posting pictures of snow. I mean, and this is not a dusting, exactly. I'm talking about, you know, the kind of snow that. Kids could have snow days. Oh, snow. Man. Snow days. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now uh, is uh, up 36. NASDAQ's up 21. S&Ps are up 8. You got gold up uh, 650. We're going to be right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here today. Uh, you get, uh, let's see, uh, oh, LifeLock. That's getting taken over by Symantec. That's up 320 at 2394. You get Facebook up 250. Uh, Tyson Foods, the chicken market's getting killed. That's down $10 at $56. And uh, 95 cents. Let's see what's going on there. I was just going to say, yeah, what's yeah. going on? What? Well, they didn't, they, they come out with. Um, uh, bad, yeah, bad numbers. Uh, but I guess what's also going on in the chicken market is that they're, uh, they're going through a, okay, so Tyson Foods tumbled the most in eight years after the largest U.S. producer, forecast lower than expecting earnings. What's happening is that there's a big investigation in the chicken business in general that they've yeah. been fixing prices. Okay. And so it's pretty funny that the investigation started, you know, whether it's, I don't know, it's five months ago, six months ago. And now all of a sudden this quarter, they, you know, they, they lose more than, not lose more, they didn't make uh, what yes. they thought they were going to make. And so what the investigation is about is that um, the st stability inside chicken prices for the length of time, like it's been years. Okay. <laughs> uh, and of course, in the commodity markets, that doesn't happen. So Sure. Um, let's see who else is out here. And folks, don't forget, we get some great programming coming up for you. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. And then we're going to, I think, a swim headquarters, uh, to, uh, swim lessons. Uh, then Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and uh, I'll be back this afternoon, of course, on, uh, on Tuesdays. Uh, I'm in Mr. Andy Heck. Uh, we saw Andy out in uh, Las Vegas with his uh, beautiful wife. Uh, he was doing good. He says hi to everyone. That was fun. That was awesome, for no, sure. No doubt. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Basil Chapman coming up. You know, I'm sure you, people have heard him talk about it. It's on the front of the website, but he's doing a workshop December 6th, 20th, and January 10th. So I know the show's about to wrap up, but they get his newsletter when you sign up for the course. So the earlier you sign up, the earlier you get the newsletter, and you get it all the way through January 10th. Um, so I encourage people to check it out. It's three courses, and I think it's 295 And if you're a um, subscriber to his opening call, you can get $100 off for 195 Simple technical tools to analyze charts, a three-part course on the Chapman Wave. So people should check that out as they listen to Basil coming up next hour. Look at that. December 6th, December 20th, and January 10th. It's hard to believe yep. that we're even talking about uh, December. It and is. January. And December 6th, that's two weeks from tomorrow. So <sighs> That's crazy. So start your Christmas shopping. No, don't. Start your Christmas shopping at least after Thanksgiving weekend. Give yourself some relaxation. Go to Amazon. So me and, That's Tom, right. me to and Tommy can talk about it every day. <laughs> <laughs> they need the business. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's, oh, my God. I'm telling you, man. Amazon. Look at that. They need all the business. They, That's... There's, <laughs> As Am now, this is interesting with two folks with Amazon. The Amazon's coming right up to its downdraft from uh, the 28th. 
So uh, they seem to blow away everything, man. It'd be interesting to see. You know, it's like every holiday season they seem to just wow people when oh, they come out with their numbers and they beat the previous year from some inane, you know, incredible well, well, percentage so, off of. Uh, Astounding numbers to begin there's, with. There's no that. So check this out. There's a there's a big designer that I could do some business with. A very large designer in the whole country, folks. So it just happens that she's from uh, St. Pete. So I was looking at her stuff last week, Tommy. Right? Yeah. Um, and uh, it's gorgeous stuff. But then I also, you know, and so it's it, these are all like high end designs, folks. Uh, lamps, furniture, and all this stuff, right? And. Uh, so I was looking at it and said, hey, this is, this is nice stuff. Bottom line is that I go online, right? Online destroys all these companies. You know what I mean? I, I hear the you. same stuff that realistically was saying that it'd be this much money. Online, guess what? It was cheaper. So it's like, you know what? Sure. Same deal. People are just, you know, retail's in trouble. It you, is. Thanks, pal. Thanks, see man. You, see you in a, a bit. Folks, you stay right there. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming right up next. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.